A teenager badly hurt during a night at the park and how it happened sounds pretty bizarre. Firefighters were called to Hewland Park in Cleburne for an electrocution. News 8's Monica Hernandez reports. A Hewlin Park in Cleburne is back open today. Authorities say the power is back on and by the looks of it, you'd never know that a 16 year old boy nearly died here on this basketball court Sunday after witnesses told 911 that he was electrocuted. Now the Cleburne Times Review reports that he touched a fence and a light pole and then went into a full cardiac arrest. A fire chief Scott Lale tells us they responded within minutes. When crews arrived, the boy was unconscious and unresponsive. He was in cardiac arrest. A firefighters revived him and took him to a nearby hospital. And from there, he was flown to Parkland, which has a burn unit. Although it came out as an electrocution call, though, officials say they don't know if the boy was electrocuted. They say that's still under investigation. We don't know what caused the injuries. There's a speculation of the cause, but because there's no outward signs of that, going to Parkland is absolutely the safest thing for him. Well, again, authorities shut down power to this part of the park and closed it to the public while an electrician investigated. But the city won't tell us what that electrician found or if he had to fix any issues. They do say that they wouldn't have opened the area back up if it wasn't safe and they welcome families here for the 4th of July. Well, the biggest change that we can see here at the basketball court is crews put up these signs that say the park now closes at sundown when it used to close at nine o'clock. Authorities have not released that teenager's name or condition, but we do know that he is alive. In Cleburne, I'm Monica Hernandez, Channel 8 News.